Righto guys, so we've got another ray frame in from a uh, dump truck, 730 I believe it is. Typical thing, rush job, Saturday afternoon, need it back by Monday. The failure was produced due to improper maintenance. I'll show you. So the process for fixing this one is remove this three broken bolts, uh, reclaim each face, put about nine kilos of weld in there, should be enough, and um, yeah, bore it all back out before Monday morning. And it is five o'clock Saturday afternoon. Good times.
Righto guys, so being that how badly this eye is actually damaged, it's very hard to find a central position. So we've had to set up the original centering device that Sir Mechanic has supplied with the machine. I don't like them, they're very fiddly, but they're probably perfect for this sort of situation. Um, there's nothing in there that we can actually center off being how bad everything is destroyed. So it's gonna take some educated guesses and uh, just sort of measuring things and trying to even things out. There's not actually a spec on where these, uh, these bearing centers um, go on the actual A-frame. Well, we can't get one. So all we're gonna have to do is do it to our absolute best educated guess.
well. So as you can see here, we've actually machined down to the uh, depth of the bolt holes, about halfway through them, and to the ends of the bolt holes. So these six bolt holes, they, um, they hold the retaining plate into the A-frame eye. And once all the machining is completed, they'll be re-drilled and tapped. So the ridge that I've left here, it's at the end of the bolt holes, so there's no need to go any further.
So this ring I'm fitting here, it's a runoff ring. Because there was so much damaged material from when the eye failed, we need to put that material back and it's very difficult to build up an edge like that with a line borer. So if you put this ring out here, you can build up as much as you like and then machine the ring off later once the eye's finished. So this was just a spare piece of hydraulic tube I had laying around. I just quickly turned it to size on the ID and then just parted it off. So it's best to weld the, uh, the bolt holes up by hand. A line borer would sort of just pass over the top of them and leave a cavity in there. So we're just going to weld them up by hand and machine that face back down to size before welding. And there's a little bit of a gap between the runoff ring and the eye. We're just going to fill that so there's no, no dramas when we go to run the bore welder in there. So we're just going to do a clean up cut on the faces where I had to weld up the bolt holes and on the, uh, the back side of it where the run out ring is. Just level everything off, makes for a much nicer surface to weld to. Fuck me, that is locked. Fuck me, that is solid. 
That is so fucking logical. Um, um, and, um, I think it's loose. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> She's fucked. <laughs> I can't hear you. Oh, you got the plugs in again. No, yeah, I've had a bit for a while. <laughs> All of this is fucked. <laughs> As these bolt holes will need to be re drilled in. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> fuck <my> God. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> All the material around where this. Oh, fuck. Good hook. 